Hello. Hello. I I, I, I just uh, had a nice afternoon out up Coke Water. That was a nice change. And the weather was fucking lush. I know. It was really nice and warm. The only bit what let it down was a, a leaf hit me on the head and fell in front of me. And black spots on it. I don't remember leaves with black spots on them, but I looked up at the tree and all the leaves had black spots, so it was case of oh crap. Lake was minging as well, pretty green and algae up nowadays, because there's no boats driving around it and fucking shaking it up. Um, um, yeah, took the top two layers off the diving board as well. Uh, yeah, since I was a kid, but I, I, I looked into Swindon one day because I was curious. No, it wasn't nothing to do with it. I'd, I'd left school and that. And I was working in a little shitty shop. And uh, my mate was working for a magazine and like, I don't know, I've got to write a story, and I'm like, oh, fuck it. Well, let's go ghost hunting then. <laughs> so, yeah, first stop, reference library. Ding dong. Uh, and then, like, I'm in the reference library, and I'm, oh, I found out a load of shit about Swindon. Well, it's the name, Swindon. I actually turned on it. Turned out it used to be called Swine Town because around Swindon there was all pig farms. See, not many people know that. And like where I live, you know, there's a few estates around where I live. And uh, this all used to be swampland back in the day. And. Uh, the, the the lake I went and looked at is actually a reservoir and what it was they drained the fucking water out of the swamp where I live and put it in there that's how that lake appeared I must admit I was quite shocked <laughs> on, the, on the way to the lake today where there used to be a subway there's now a new pond so it's like ooh fucking hell I didn't notice that before uh, but yeah they've only done away with the subways this year so yeah because they kept on flooding anyway every time it rains uh, heavily anyway but there are two things what this town is famous for the railworks Brunel Railworks right where they made steam trains back in the day Actually, they still got a little tiny model still steam train. What kids can go on a coat water? <laughs> I know. You know. I was sat there with the dog and the cat on here with this little whistle. Do do. You know. Ah, oh, fuck. I, I I remember actually going on that train one day. I think I was at work and I had to go on it. Just just <laughs> just because I was bored. Uh, but yeah. Uh, I don't know, pretty weird shit, really, when you think about it. But the only two fucking town things this town is actually sort of famous for is the Brunel Trainworks, which actually, uh, I actually went and had a look around just before they shut it down. They had an open day, and I was only a kid. And I, I went in there and had a good nosy around. And I was quite interested in the engineering tools, because... Obviously, doing fucking train wheels and shit. The fucking shit they used to make them is quite big. You know, like the machinery is big. And uh, it's all gone now. But, um, it's the railworks and the fucking magic roundabout. Because that was some weird experiment. And, <laughs> in a weird way, it does work. Sticking five roundabouts around a roundabout, 
Now, what sort of stupid cunt would come up with an idea like that? Well, it weren't me, fuck, fuck. But it does sort of work. So that's pretty strange. But I do remember it, it wasn't there when I moved to Sweden. Mind you, the population of Sweden back then was about 60,000. Now you can stick another 200,000 on top of that. So things have changed hell of a lot in the last fucking 50 odd years. But, see, I wouldn't know none of this shit unless I'd gone and had a look and been a nosy little cunt and talked to old people. I remember like, I was doing community service and uh, I had to push people around town in wheelchairs and there was this lovely old couple, a uh, lovely woman and an old, old boy. He was about 90 old. And she was, ah, oh, she was in her late age. And like, uh, it was a really nice Sunday one day. And uh, I actually went round and I said, look, it's a beautiful day, I've got nothing to do. Do you want to go to the park? You know, like. So I'm um, pushing the old lady to the park in the wheelchair and the, the old boy was blind. And uh, he was just, he, he grabbed hold of my arm and I guided him to the park. And we were sat, the old lady was sat in her wheelchair and the old boy was sat on a bench next to me. And, uh, he was telling me stories back in the day when he worked in the rail works. You know, like, fucking hell, man. That was really interesting. You know what I mean? Like, fucking... That, um, that was fucking long, long time ago. I'm talking in the fucking 80s, this was. So it was a long time ago. But, oh, the stories he was telling me about the railway works and like them all riding to work on push bikes, you know, none of them had cars or fuck all. They'd all have to ride to work, but that, that's why the railway village is called the railway village, because that was usually the railway workers, uh, the train workers, you know, they were building trains for Brunel. Mm. That's why we got a building, well, uh, of, uh, a building called the Brunel thing, and we got the Brunel Shopping Centre. And there's a reason, because they were named after Brunel, because he brought the railworks here, because it was in the middle of the Great Western Railway line. See, all these little things what have been totally sort of forgotten, but they haven't been forgotten by me. So I, I thought I'd bung that in here, because I'm living here. And I thought I'd give a little bit of history about this fucking town. What I know. <laughs> I know, I don't know much. But I know a little bit about the town I live in. Which I wouldn't have found out. I didn't learn none of that shit at school. I'd left school when I found out out of all this shit. And it was only because I'm a nosy cunt and I was in the reference library for way too many hours being a nosy cunt looking for ghosts. <laughs> oh, I know. Did find some. We won't go into that, though. All right. I'm going to love and leave you anyway because I don't think you really want to know about this. <laughs>